Hi everyone. Uh, it's been a week since I installed the front speakers. Um, and I still have some problems with YouTube uploading because I play some music that apparently has copyrights, blah, blah, blah. So while I'm making this video, I'm still waiting to upload the first one. Uh, in, this, in this video, I'm gonna show you like the rear speakers. Uh, if you want to do it like the simple way, uh, simple way, easier way, I would say, uh, the way I do it. So here are the speakers. I'm show, I'll show you. Here are the speakers that I use. Hertz. Um, where's the box from the speakers? Yechi. Let me find the box. Uh, basically, I was watching videos online. You got to remove like the back seats, a lot of things, you know. Okay, let's see. Where's the box? Here's the box. So this is what I'm gonna be using. Uh, these they have built-in tweeters. Once 170.3 is the size, 170 millimeters, or that equals to 17 centimeters, or equals to six inch and three quarters. You can also install six and a half inches size speakers. Um, in the first video, I spoke about the. Uh, you know why I'm going with these speakers I'll show you now like what what you have to do to get to the speakers Honda could have done it a lot simpler but nothing is simple right let me go and get the other phone so yeah the front speakers are installed the quality is decent is better than the Honda OEM uh, installation installing them didn't take that long blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let me show you what I removed in the back so I can get to the speakers. <sighs> Dang, it's hot today. Okay, what are we gonna play? USB. Okay, I don't wanna play music because YouTube is gonna uh, block the video again. Um, let's see, let's go on the other side, might be better. So, I'm doing this while I'm working. If I get a job, I just stop, go do it, and then come back. I do some deliveries once in a while. Not with this car, I just have this car here now, so I can show you. So, um, the way the, some videos online are, you know, showing you how to do it is basically removing everything that is here in the back in order to get to the speakers I'm a little bit lazy to take it out of the car because I have to take them in and out all the time so basically you got to release these seats let me show you so these seats were like that you release them from the trunk both of them and then the first thing you got to do basically I'm gonna start again. So the first thing you gotta do is remove these seats if you want, or uh, you know, loose them a little bit. There's a clip here, one on each side. Let me show you. So here's the clip. So you just pull, push, and actually you just pull, and then you just lift the seats a little bit. There's one on this side, and there's one on the other side. So that's basically it. And then you gotta unscrew these. They stay here like this. So what you gotta do, there is one bolt here under this seat. So you basically lift it a little bit. This is where it is. See that? Come on, man. Stupid phone. That's where it is. This is the screw that goes there. Basically what I used to remove the seats was, I believe the size is 10 metric for that one. And then if you have to, you don't have to, but then you can use number 12 to uh, unbolt the screw that it goes right here that holds these seats. So what I did is, in order to remove these, so you unscrew it down there that I showed you and you just pull it up. But you, got, you have to pull it up after you push these down, these. And then the next thing that you will see is this let me just move 
that pillar on the other side so it doesn't break it's mostly plastic see these pillars the these things that go on the side is this from this side i'm not sure i think it's from the other side anyway this is what holds it here and that's basically it and then you get to this the rear deck the rear deck has four clips it was not easy to remove them nothing special so one here one here one here and there's one over there let me show you the clips i keep everything on the side where they were so i don't lose them um come on okay here they are nothing special this is how the clips are you gotta i use this to take them out took some time it wasn't that easy that was the hardest thing to do and then uh the next thing i did was basically removing these pillars from the side see that there were pillars on this side on the other side you got to remove them in order to get to this so the pillars this is how they are so basically they sit this is from the other side sits like that and they're clips one two three clips the way you pry them out is you remove the rubber i have the wiring here for the camera where is it okay there it is um so you basically put your hand and you just pry it a little bit you push it and they come out very easily because uh this is how they are this is where the first clip is oh i lost the clip okay so yeah they are total of three clips even if you break them you can go and buy them you know from the local parts store it's not a big deal um so yeah after you remove those pillars from the side then this is next i'll show you there's there are a few clips on this so you, you might want to release the the seat belts you know and i removed this it took me like 10 minutes i was really careful careful so i don't don't break anything you see those clips none of the videos that i looked online had any clips so they're like two on the sides over there and then they're one two now i would say on the front they're like four and then they're like one there two three and you see over there there was a clip there but i don't see it i have to find it oh it's right there okay so now finally i reached the speakers motherfuckers i don't know who whose idea was to install them like that but yeah finally i got to the speakers and i'm gonna install the, ne the new speakers next i can play some music just so you can see but you already know you have this uh if you're watching this video you probably have the same car so or something similar so it's not a big deal um but yeah i'm gonna remove these speakers and install the new ones as you can see like on the door there's like one bolt and that's probably it that's what holds the speaker and okay yeah so i use a small phillips screwdriver to remove them basically it was only this and i had to use the pry tool because it was like you know the foam got a little bit sticky uh, on this so that's basically it very easy very simple to remove um if you guys you like need more space you know to be more convenient for you you can remove all this from the car you know all you know the seats and everything that is extra the, the panels or whatever there is you can remove them uh here are the speakers basically same speakers like the ones on the front same shit I'm gonna clean first here a little bit and then install the new speakers probably is gonna be the same thing I'm gonna put some glue the rubber the rubber that I used on the front speakers and then use the the brackets to uh, secure the sticker the speakers <laughs> on the brackets and then the brackets on this and then just put everything back together and just test the sound see how it is basically it's gonna be kind of very similar but not the same it for sure is gonna sound better okay so this is what i'm yep. doing i already showed you in the first video so i bought this um i use it as a glue what I, this is what i do so i apply to where the speaker is gonna lay down and then i add more extra on the top of the speaker this is like a liquid rubber that gets really sticky and it holds it, it's really strong like really really strong so i'm gonna apply on both brackets 
and then add extra on the top way too dry and then what I'm gonna do on this side I'm gonna add also a little bit of that liquid rubber the sticky rubber and then put it back you know where the speakers were so yeah basically it's very simple where's the speaker there it is so what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna wait this to dry for a little bit more and then just drop the speaker in it and then add extra glue around the speaker on the sides wait to dry and then install it back where it's supposed to go okay so I installed the speakers I just need to put everything back together the way it's supposed to go this is how they are so the, the bolt I put it back the speaker is basically glued to the bracket with the liquid rubber that after that hardens and it's like I don't know it's really strong and then between the bracket and the aluminum I think this is aluminum or steel steel I guess I don't know I added extra glue see that here the rubber the liquid rubber so it's it's solid as the time goes by it's gonna be even better it's gonna be extremely solid the speakers they sound pretty good uh, I can't play songs now because YouTube is gonna block the video but yeah they they came out pretty good I added also extra on the top around the speaker so yeah it looks pretty good for now connecting I try switching plus and minus but it seems like it's the same to me at least on these speakers yeah I was checking like the positive is brown blah 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 there's red there's a some uh, brown white wires but it came out good